After protracted negotiations over the last few days, the floor of the U.S. Senate finally saw a deal reached between the Democrats and the Republicans over the country's debt ceiling. They've also reopened government, but disaster has only been averted for now. Senate Democrat leader Harry Reid decided to celebrate the agreement rather than the differences. The compromise we reached will provide our economy with the stability it desperately needs. It's never easy for two sides to reach consensus. It's really hard, sometimes harder than others. This time was really hard. But after weeks spent facing off across a partisan divide that often seemed too wide to cross, our country came to the brink of a disaster. But in the end, political adversaries set aside their differences and disagreements to prevent that disaster. But the thorny issue of Obamacare still rankles with the Republicans and they vow to try to repeal the law. For today, the relief we hope for is to reopen the government, avoid default, and protect the historic cuts we achieved under the Budget Control Act. This is far less than many of us had hoped for, frankly, but it's far better than what some had sought. But that debt clock is still ticking. All that's changed is the deadline, as the government has until February the 7th to find more money to pay its bills.